To have a good ground knowledge that you have to be able to draw, I felt that very strongly. I wanted to do a lot of drawing in all sorts of different places and then the work started becoming more abstracted. My name is Anna Louise Felsted and I'm an artist. From a very young age, um, my father started bringing me back empty diaries from his office and I used to start filling them up with drawings. I started going through all the process of going to art school to do a foundation and a three-year degree, then a two-year MA at the Royal College. I started painting in the evenings and had an exhibition and sold everything and that was my real drive to think actually I can make, make a career out of this. That's when I started going out and about, you know, drawing in all sorts of places from hairdressers salons to backstage at London Fashion Week and then I started painting Harrier jump jets and helicopters on ships with the Royal Navy. The MOG commissioned me to do some work for them which then led on to me going to lots of um, classic race car events in Monaco and Pebble Beach in the States and all sorts of you know, amazing places. My desire to paint from reality has then carved a niche in a way. I ended up at Wimbledon Art Studios after speaking to my framer. Basically I was trying to do lots of oil paintings at home and stuff was everywhere and I was getting in trouble um, for having paints and canvases and all sorts everywhere. I love working here, it's a great community, lots of amazing, talented people. Um, it's the kind of place where you can come and not really see anyone if you don't want to, but if you're st struggling or stuck on an idea, I've got people who are in studios around that I can call on and they'll come in and they'll look at my work and sort of critique it for me, which is really helpful sometimes. I really promote Wimbledon Art Fair. I tell everyone to come because it is such a fantastic opportunity to come and meet the artists face to face, see them in situ within their studios, see how they work, see their brushes, see their canvases. Um, you can get an idea of what kind of people they are. You can talk to them about the paintings. I have been to so many art fairs where I have stood and looked at people's paintings and heard the gallerist talk absolute rubbish about you know the meaning behind everything and I would much rather meet the artist and hear it from them. Lots of families come along and you know quite a few times now I've sold work to parents for the children's bedroom and the, the kids pick out the work that they like um, so that's always really nice um, and I think it's great for them to sort of see the spaces and I do think they get inspired. You know, a lot of people come and say to me, oh my, my daughter's very talented and it's nice for them to get to see adults doing the job they want to do when they're older. Galleries tend to re represent a certain style, not always but sometimes, but here there's just such a, a mix of ceramics and sculpture and woodwork and painting and photography, I think it's brilliant.